friends, it's Colby. Welcome to my channel uh, where I try out crafts, see if they work, and see if they don't. And I share them with you all the whole time. So, uh, super excited for today's craft. Um, you may have seen this trend going around. Um, we're going to be using alcohol ink. It uh, makes very wispy watercolor um, art. And um, sometimes I'll do it on specialized paper, um, but we're going at the very basic level and we're going to be doing it on ceramic tiles. These cost me 11 cents at Home Depot um, and hopefully they're going to make some really pretty coasters for us. Um, so that's the plan. Um, everything in total, um, I think these were $9.99 at Michael's. Um, if you have a 40% off coupon, um, everything in total cost me under 10 bucks to make it. So um, these are going to be fun. I'm really excited to give these a try. This is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. So uh, let's take a look. We're going to get started by opening up our alcohol inks. Um, I'm using a glass pie pan as a work surface um, because I don't ever make pies and I don't want the ink to get anywhere and I want to be able to blow it around and uh, have freedom with it. So um, I'm going to open this up um, just so you can see it is, it looks like the Bria Reese brand alcohol ink. Um, I just bought it from Michaels. You can see that okay. Um, so we're going to start, this comes with pink and blue and green. I'm going to start with the pink one um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous. I mean, what can go wrong? It's gonna be great. Can you see okay? All right. Let's do... Okay, we're good. I can drop ink. Go ahead and store these on this paper towel so they don't get everywhere. Um, I'm gonna be using the straw method. Um, we should blow it around. So let's go. Ah, okay, it's kind of working. This is really pretty. Okay, I really like the pie pan because I can kind of spin it as I go um, and it spins really freely. Uh, let's add some blue. Uh, this looks very green. Um, it's definitely the blue bottle. Oh, it's like spreading on its own. <gasps> I didn't have to do anything. Okay, this is fun. This is fun. Very dark, but we're getting cool colors. Color over here. This is so green. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, you should read things. Um, this is ocean green. Um, and this one is Kelly green. So apparently they were supposed to be green. They're the right color. I'm just wrong. Some tutorials showed um, burning the ink. So I don't know if that's going to work or not. But I'm not going to not try it. So here we go. Absolutely nothing's happening. Nothing happened. No fire, no cool stuff. That's okay. All right, 
let's keep this party going and keep making some coasters. There you have it. We have eight totally unique custom DIY alcohol ink coasters. I am honestly shocked at how well these turned out. I am really proud of them. All that's left to do now to finish them off is give them a quick coat of polyurethane to seal the tops and then we'll be good to go. Let's do it. alcohol ink coasters. Um, all that's left for you to do to finish yours off is to give them a quick sealant. Uh, I used a water-based polyurethane. It worked fine. Um, there were some spots that started to pick up the ink with my brush, so I would recommend a spray sealant. Um, you can do just a clear top coat for the in the spray paint section. Uh, I think that would probably work better. Uh, but overall, I'm still really excited about these. Uh, excited to have them both in my house and to continue to make them as gifts. Um, so if you liked hanging out with me today, if you liked watching this video, um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be releasing more videos showing you how to um, do crafts just like this to bring a little more creativity to your life. So subscribe and hit the bell down below um, so that you're ready to see um, and you get notified whenever a new video comes out. Uh, thanks again for hanging out with me. If there's any other tutorials or DIYs that you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, so thanks again for hanging out with me. Bye, friends. Oh, shoot, that's a cat hair. Story of my life.